Hello everyone, it's Chrissy from Chrissy's Beautiful Life. Welcome to a Confessions of a Paper Attic Cut Files design team layout, as well as day six for 30 Days of Sketches 7. And today, I started this layout off not realizing that I was actually going to be using this sketch. It was more trying to get a Christmas layout done for February that transforms into the sketch. So you're going to watch this with me. I am using a Christmas cut file from 2019 I believe I'll leave it linked below I think it's called Noel and I love this cut file it's gorgeous I had absolute plans to use it as you see it but first I'm gonna go ahead and do something that I've seen Daisy do a lot of the other design team ladies are who are so much better with mixed media than I am kind of do this really cool thing where you lay the outside of the cut file so not the actual cut file but the outside of it down spray so you have a nice base and then you put your cut file back on top of it it's a very very smart idea so i'm trying to do that you see i'm struggling a little bit with a couple of my colors my shimmers are very very old very very old so they don't spray that well but i finally get where i need it to go and i just use a bunch of different shades i think i have four different shades of blues and greens so i'm gonna go ahead and work with that and that's what you see there. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I definitely want to try this technique again with uh, something else where I actually just lay the, the cut file back on top so you see the difference between the spray and the misting and the mixed media and the cut file itself. I love this instead of what my layout actually ends up looking like. All right. Here we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at my photo. I really want to use that photo. I'm going to look at a couple other ones, trying to see what looks the best. I'm thinking I need to cover it up with the O, like that's where it's going to go. But then I'm like, well, this particular photo that I have of my little ones in their Christmas pajamas from this, this last Christmas fits in that just like perfectly. And so I was like, well, let's see, can I layer it a little bit? I'm going to work with the Farmhouse Christmas Collection that you see there. I got this from Scrapbook Your Joy and it is gorgeous. However, I have struggled to use it because it's a little bit more um, like my house. I live in a farmhouse, so that's kind of why I got it. But um, I decorate, I even decorate kind of like you see here. To scrapbook though it's not my style to scrapbook apparently so I've learned that and that's okay I'll know next time not to get such a vintage type look it's just a little a little outside of my comfort zone for scrapping but it's exactly what my house looks like I'm telling you and I do a couple layers I'm gonna keep going through see what I can come up with I had completely intended to use just this collection that's why I use the background and as you see I know it's white it's like the white washed um that you would see on a wall or something or like your deck this is what I use for my background and yes I know it is it is still white but I at least use the pattern paper for my background which is good for me I struggle with doing that so I am intentionally trying to use more and more pattern papers for backgrounds instead of just white cardstock and I get a point for this one I'm looking through all, all the papers, all the stuff, what I can find, how I'm going to make this work. Originally, this layout was actually going to be for another sketch in February. But again, like I said, I just, it wasn't working. And so I started to play. I've got my layers down. And as I'm looking at it, I realize, you know, if I kind of rotate this a little bit and add something up at the top, almost looks like the day ske six sketch and I knew day six was also the same day that I have a confessions of a paper addict design team commitment so I felt like this was going to work perfectly I originally had just planned on using this cut file because I liked it I wasn't going to highlight it for a design team um I don't normally uh scrap Christmas unless it's for Christmas in whatever month it is but with my cut files I do try to tend to keep them the most current so whatever Virginia has released or something that has to do with the season I do I just personally like to do that there's no rule she lets us do whatever she wants it's she's awesome and her cut files are awesome I it's just how I personally scrap but I was just like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna make this work so I'm playing around here and now I've got the stickers coming out <laughs> can you see the struggle that's happening you guys it's there's a struggle and so this is when I'm like, okay, I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to do something a little crazy. Now, nobody cringe, 
but I'm going to take this cut file and I'm going to cut it right down the middle and I'm just going to use it for the leaves. I'm not worried about the word Noel. I've completely took that away and I love, love how it looks. So there's a, a hint and a tip and a trick for you. Just because a cut file is made a certain way does not mean you have to use it in that way. Go ahead and cut it up and just make it work for you. That's what I had to do with this one. It is going to get recut and I'm going to use it the way it's intended. But for this layout, this is how it looks. And I love it. It helps highlight everything. Because the photo is a little bit of a lighter photo, it does help help give it balance. And then because Barrett is wearing green pajamas, the green that I did with the mixed media, it's all nicely balanced because there's the green, the layers, the brown leaving from the cut file, and then the green background. And I love it. All right, we've got to where I need to go. Now, I'm not liking, I like the red and the word Christmas, but I wasn't liking the red background that I used. And so I'm bringing in a whole nother collection that has a completely different vibe to it, which is the Coco Vanilla Studios collection from, it's the Merry and Bright collection. Completely different, right? Nothing like the Farmhouse collection. But together, I'm going to make it work. And I, I, I'll tell you, I really, really like how this layout turns out in the end was a struggle to get there, but I love it. So while you watch me kind of go through some of this stuff to decide what I want to do, let's talk about these photos. My kids, with it being COVID Christmas, right? We didn't go anywhere. We didn't get to go see grandparents or anything like that. And it was a little bit different. And Christmas Eve was spent at home this year, which does not happen. We're normally somewhere else. We don't get home until late. It's we're running around all the time and it's just kind of exhausting, but we were home this year. And so the kids got to get into their pajamas early and I didn't care if I got the perfect photo with them in their pajamas. I've learned to accept, especially with three, that that's not going to happen. So I just asked them to lay down on the floor and just kind of look up at me. And this is what I got. I love it. I took up multiple. I tend to uh, just take multiple shots, but then I also hold my phone down. So within each shot, there's multiple takes of that shot, if that makes sense. And eventually I get something that's usable and this is my usable one and I love it. So Nora has unicorn and it says Mary and bright on hers and she's it's cute. It's purple and it's very, very her. Barrett's is a onesie with Santa Claus on them. And I love that. That green looks amazing on him. And then Jackson just got pajama pants. He's kind of done with the whole pajama set thing. He has a few, but for the most part, he just wants pajama bottoms and then he wears whatever shirt he wants. And his are little T-Rexes with little Santa hats. And I know it's really hard to see, but they're really awesome and super comfy. He wears them all the time. And then I just mixed it with his, he's so into gaming right now. So I just mixed it with a gaming shirt for him, which represented him perfectly. That's the photo. Let's talk about what I've done since I've been jabbering away here. I added, to make it look like the sketch, those Christmas trees, cause it's Christmas Eve. So I used that for the banner. I'm using the cut file as the big square you can see in the sketch. And then I'm gonna come in and add a few hearts cause that's in the sketch and it made me want to use them. I was in the collection. I had a little bit of these Redefine Creative they're gorgeous. They're so much fun to play with. So they're acrylic little hearts and I use the green and the red. So there is some more pops of red coming around because I use the red in Christmas. And as I've mentioned before, I print my photos at my local drugstore and I use a pearl matte finish. So if something gets stuck on my photo, it is not going anywhere. That is where it's staying. And my photo, I, I put the sticker on my photo intentionally so that wasn't going anywhere and I needed to be able to make it look like it belonged. Adding those acrylic red hearts just kind of helped with that. I also want to mention before my time runs out today, this sketch is a page map sketch that was chosen by Lena, who was one of the winners from my Facebook group. I did a few challenges between the last series and this one. And if you won, you got to pick one of the sketches to be in this series. And Lena won back in November and this is the sketch she chose. So we're using your sketch, Lena, and that you picked. I loved it. It was fun. I love how this worked in with <laughs> this crazy layout that wasn't supposed to be it, but it ended up being so really happy with that. 
I'm going to do the same thing probably for this round. So make sure you're part of my Facebook group and you'll be able to get a chance to do that. Also, make sure you head on over to Confessions of a Paper Attic. Get your hand on some awesome cut files and the Facebook group as well. It's really fun over there. A great place to be. The links for all of that will be down below. The links for everyone playing along will also be down below for you. And to finish this layout off so you can see, I'm adding a few sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I also use the word pajamas up at the top. That little embellishment is what you can see in the sketch down at the bottom. I just decided to put it at the top instead. It was just more appealing and pleasing to my eye. And I did back everything with a pink to kind of help tie it all in together. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.